Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Scorpio. These are the general readings so please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. This is your monthly reading for July 2021. I have a quick announcements to make. People who are responding back to my videos, I'm continuing with giving a personal angel message card as a reciprocation to your love, affection, to the channel. It really means a lot to me when your people are along with me in this journey. So please keep on liking the video. Please keep on subscribing. That really means a lot to me. And keep on sharing with your loved ones, dear ones. And put on your notifications. And in case you need a private reading, I'm just an email away. These are the paid readings, so please connect accordingly. You can connect for your focus reading, for your money readings, for your relationships, career and finances. You can also take a general reading. And I've started doing a few videos on you know on various other topics in language hindi so you really don't have to worry because i will be continuing the way i was doing my english videos you know a lot of people were saying that where is the english version of their reading i will always ensure that i'll put the english version first and then i'll do anything in hindi language because you all started this journey with me along so let's go straight away to your reading and I'm already out with your energies for the month of July. Dear Scorpio, pulling out your angels with a message for the month July 2021. Let us see what do we have for July 2021. What do we have for July? Angel and spirits. What do we have for July? Okay, you know, this time I'm pulling two cards from each deck. I don't know why. Maybe my guides are encouraging me to do that. Okay, so the energy for these two months are very, very powerful. I'll make it a little closer for you people. In the month of July, we have two beautiful energies. The first one is the angel of strength, which means you need to pay attention to your willpower to your strength to your you know internal patience this month and the beauty is that while you're keeping all this the other energies of the world that means you are going to get whatever you desire the key to get that thing done is your own willpower patience and strength whatever you need in this time period from your love relationship from your partnerships from your job, from your career, from your business, whatever you wish to have. And it is going to get fulfilled only and only with your willpower, your strength, your patience in life. So the energy is for the complete month. So ensure that whenever you come across something and you feel that this is not happening, just keep on the patience, just keep on your strength to continue and you are going to receive the world out of it. Very powerful energies for this month. For dear Scorpio and the angel says very nice no need to worry what a beautiful message from angel whatever you do they are with you and they say there is nothing to worry because you just have what you need the only thing which you require is if required you just ask help from others from people around you from the experts around you maybe in your area or it is also a very very powerful uh, message to me that you can also ask angels to help you whenever you feel there is any dilemma any confusion regarding taking any further move or any decision so if you see your energies and the angel messages are quite clear for the month of july and let us now go straight to your weeklies and post which I'll be going deep dive and then we will be pulling out few fairy messages, oracle messages and your healing messages for the month of July. Now let us see what do we have. What do we have for the week one? We have the Empress. Very, very powerful. So if you see this Empress, you know, 
can you she see the luxury she is getting and after this struggle of patience of strength of keeping your work hard you are getting the world and empress that's the first card of the month first card of the month july and if you see empress has everything it says time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxury or abundant resources empress is the most luxurious card in tarot this means that whatever situation you are into you are definitely going to come into a very very comfortable position into a very luxurious position from mind soul and body and whatever you require during this time the month of july you are going to get it dear scorpio this is a confirmation to that let us clarify empress for you let us clarify empress let us clarify empress clarifying empress for the scorpio people we have five of wands we have strength look at this so this is a reinforcement of the same message super powerful the scorpio people then you have queen now this is so self explanatory it says that there will be clashes there will be you know um, arguments or maybe misunderstanding but all at the intellectual level nothing personal in your professional and personal life but what you all need to do is just keep on the patience and the will power that's all patience and strength is going to bring world to you you know that from the reading and then it says queen of cups everything is going to come within everything is going to come in for you in a loving manner because you have the quality of people management with lot of love affection and you know respect for everybody dear scorpio very nice let us pull out your week 2 pulling out week 2 for this scorpio let us see what do we have let us see what do we have for week 2 three of gabriel and let us clarify week 2 for you now the gabriel says and this is 3 so 3 is the number of creativity that means you will be benefited with a lot of partnership with collaboration with people around with teamwork and can you see how these people are planning to move together there is a yash the big ships and then there is an ocean which talks about travel so it is a big movement in your professional life and for few of you it is even personal and it says prosperity arising from wise planning time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out to be expected yes it is very much there you know your this is this is the month of improvement actually if you see you'll see a lot of movements lot of improvements dear scorpio people let us clarify your week 2 let us clarify week 2 for you we have ace of sword a beginning coming you have the hermit self introspection and then you have the hanging man and it talks about two major arcana in week 2 now this clearly shows that the moment is also internal because you need to deep dive into yourself you need to see where you have come to how far you have come to it is thinking going deep inside and it says that yet with hanging man you need little compromises little adjustments little molding in your current situation and that is all about you know when you are doing this it is all because of the internal strength and the patience patience means molding yourself patience means little compromise little adjustments against your you know happiness or will so that's the hanging man and ace promises a new beginning it could be professionally what i'm sounding from my angels and for very few of you it could be personal relationship a new beginning but things are going to work in a collaborative manner things are going to work when you move into partnership team work team collaborations let us see what we have in week 3 Let us see what we have in week three. We have five of Raphael, the angel of healing. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunity for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Yes. Go. Let go the regret, the guilt of something not happening, delays, losses, challenges. just let go that off because then only you can refill the energy of empress then only you can refill the energy of collaboration in your work very nice let us clarify week 3 for you 
clarifying week three for you. Clarifying week three. Clarifying week three for you. We have King of Pentacles. We have Empress. <laughs> Look at this. You have got Empress, the toys. You are going to win the luxury this month. I claim it. And then you have Six of Swords. So, you know, what I sense from the reading is you're moving, but still some thoughts are there in your mind. You're still moving with those thoughts, with those challenges, with that discomfort in your mind. But simultaneously, you are leading towards the Empress situation, towards the comfort, towards the settlement. But the thoughts are still going on in your mind because you have Six of Swords. It means you're carrying away what you have in your mind. And there is a travel, then you're still moving ahead. But Empress in your reading twice shows that whatever may be the situation, you are going to come into a very, very comfortable position. And Empress with King of Pentacles is super powerful, super powerful because this shows that the materialistic gain is going to be tremendous. King has the energy of accumulating all the luxuries in life. And Scorpio, I claim this reading, you have King and Empress together. And the beauty of the reading is that you are getting Empress toys the only message which is again and again repeating in your reading is the strength and the willpower. When you are holding it with yourself, you are going to get the king of pentacles, which is money, career, job, finances, abundance, growth. And you have empress, which is synonym. Very nice. Very nice. Let us see what do we have in week four. You have Knight of Michael. Again, a movement. Can you see the fast movement of this knight? This reminds me of taking a leap as well. You're taking tenfold leap this time, Scorpio. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. Very nice. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. This is so clear. I don't need to explain this. This is self-explanatory. Let me clarify this card. Clarifying week four for all of you. My dear Scorpio, put me a message. What is happening there? And I hope you all are getting my personal angel message card when you are responding back. You have eight of cards. Look at this. When you move, when you are moving fast, you are moving away from the hurt. You have five of pentacles. The message is so clear. You have wheel of fortune. This is this is damn powerful. Look at this. It says by July end, Scorpio, you will hundred percent leave, which is not making any space in your life, in your joy, in your happiness, in your contentment, in your satisfaction. And it will be for a lot of you that you will be leaving the job, which is not giving you credit. You are leaving the business which is not giving you profit. You are leaving the relationship which is not making you happy, contentment and joyous. And when you decide to move on because you have eight of cups and you have five of pentacles, you have this wheel of fortune coming in you, into your chart. The time is changing positively. The time is bound to change. When you leave something which is not making any addition to your life, you know, it is pulling away your energies. When you decide that, no, I don't want it further, you are going to change your destiny. You are going to change your time in a positive manner and the wheel is a symbol of changing time. Your reading is super powerful. The cards which we have got, the major arcana ones, they are super powerful this time. You have wheel, you have empress, you have very, very powerful energies. Let us now clarify your few fairy messages let me pull out few fairy messages let me pull out few fairy messages let us see what fairies has to tell this time to you fairy messages please for my dear dear scorpio
do some research travel yes 100% travel there are a lot of cards of traveling we were talking about moment whom do you need to forgive you need to give me thumbs up on the reading today can you see how beautifully your cards are getting resonated scorpio if you see it is talking about doing some research this means before you take any important crucial decision and show that you have the first hand information with yourself don't move on on the basis of what you have heard or what is your assumption don't play with the you know the information get the primary information see feel understand analyze and then move on it says you need more information about the situation look into it further before proceeding then definitely we were talking about travel since beginning of your reading today and you know that it says an upcoming trip proves to be life changing in a positive way you know that you are moving but you are still carrying on with your thoughts that is why this message has come up it is while you are moving on still you have things in your mind it is until and unless you are not going to forgive and forget it is still going to pop up in your mind so the fairies are saying analyze understand go within whom you need to forgive and the angel says that many times you feel that you need to forget somebody you need to forget a situation you need to forget or forgive a, a, a unpleasant instance but the beauty lies with the fact that we need to forgive ourselves self always as well you know for experiencing it for making ourselves hurt we are responsible for our own happiness and joy we need to forgive ourselves that why we have taken that much pain or you know that much on ourselves mind body soul we need to forgive ourselves don't forgive to don't forget to forgive yourself as well just forgive what you have experienced or what you hurt you have given to your heart or mind or to the relationship for that matter or because of relationship your a particular job a particular business a particular instance or a place you have given hurt to yourself you have bothered yourself too much so it also talks about forgiving yourself apart from forgiving people or the situation or the place it says as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true because time will only change when you will not only forgive others or people but you will also forgive yourself to move on and this is the beauty very nice your reading is very powerful dear scorpio this time you know it says that you know you are experiencing life changing moments let me clarify let me clarify let me clarify pull out your healing messages i don't know why i'm talking about clarifying more today wisdom see your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual life yes when you forgive yourself you're bound to have the spirituality wisdom guidance you are not alone you're guided by masters and teachers of the highest realm so this is all from internal forgiveness you you encourage yourself you balance yourself your emotional mental physical self with spirituality and then you bring wisdom and guidance to yourself and we have ascension which is your soul is involving to the higher state of consciousness you are ready for this yes you are 100% ready for all the guidance you are going to get during this time scorpio this was a very beautiful reading i really enjoyed doing this reading because this reading had everything today if you see and the beauty of the really reading is that it is talking about your internal development it is talking about your internal wisdom it is talking about moving ahead you know whatever life has to f- uh, offer you know we have to see we have to unfold at every moment what we are seeing but the beauty is we accept we surrender we trust the divine that everything is going to happen for our own good 
so that was all from my side please do help us in liking subscribing the channel it really means a lot to me i can see that within the journey of my six to eight months you people have been showering all your love on my channel keep sharing the videos please i need to extend this family you know i need to have extended family now and also you know um uh, put on the notification so that you are you are updated what i have posted on the channel and don't get bothered with the other hindi videos i'm doing that is i'm doing it for my people here and but i will always ensure that i'm putting english videos first the way i was doing always so keep up the spirits your spirit my spirits and i'll see you next time be blessed